today's adventure, we're going to the Riding Mountain National Park to hike the East Escarpment Trail to East Blue Lake. Along for the trip this weekend are Carla and Colleen, two hikers who participated in the Nature Manitoba Intro Backcountry Session that we held back in May. Riding Mountain National Park is located in the Parkland region of Manitoba. It's around a four-hour drive northwest of Winnipeg. The park was officially opened in 1933. The park is situated atop the Manitoba Escarpment. The east end of the park, where we're headed today, rises rather sharply, about 300 meters from the surrounding prairies. The park has many historical structures, one of which is the East Gate Rec Registration Center. This structure was built in 1930 and is a National Historic Site. It is the only structure of its kind left standing in Canada. The park has a number of front country day hikes as well as back country hikes. Two of the longest trails in the park were the Central Trail and the North Escarpment Trail. The North Escarpment Trail used to be 28 kilometers longer. It was shortened in 1991 due to maintenance costs. It's only 8.4 kilometers now. The summer of 2015, I had planned to take two hikes in this park, both of which had to be discontinued due to maintenance costs. The North Escarpment Trail is rated as easy and covers 8.4 kilometers to the campsite located at East Blue Lake. A detailed description of all trails in the park can be found in the trail guide for the park, which is published by the Friends of Riding Mountain National Park. The North Escarpment Trail can be used to access a number of other trails that descend the escarpment. It can also be used to create a loop route. However, what descends must ascend, and some sections can give you quite the workout. There are two campsites off the trail, Breezy Hill and East Deep Lake. The park staff provide firewood, and there is an outhouse at each site. If you are heading to Riding Mountain, make sure to book your permit by phone or in person. Fees will run a group of three, about $80 for a two-night hike. Once you complete your hike, make sure to call the park and close your permit. And it's good to get out. Riding Mountain. Good. 36. Oh, uh, awesome. Okay. Ooh, 45-ish. I know for a fact, I put my, I would have weighed before I put my water in. So, I'm going to guess here, 55. Oh my goodness, yeah, you're probably, yeah, 55. North Escarpment Trail, where we had East Deep Lake, awesome. <laughs> Warning, pack horse, not trail and not maintained. See, they did have these signs at the at the south escarpment, okay. but they weren't, uh, there was nothing left on them. So maybe it's fallen off. Oh, okay. All right. Eight clicks. Let's go. Ooh, you can see where all the horses have gone around that yep. way. Mm -hmm, yeah. I don't think we have any horses out here today. And there's a little shot through here. I like this. Round the gate. Down and around. This is the Bald Hill Trail. Down that way. Okay. How, how far have we gone here? Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say our... Oh, trailhead, one and a half. Oh, okay. So we've done one and a half kilometers. Okay. In, what are we looking at? It's 144. What time did I say we left? 130. 130? Mm -hmm. 15 minutes, one and a half. Wow. 8.1 kilometers an hour. Holy crap. And we're going to not, but we're going past Breezy Hill, right? Yeah, we're going past Breezy Hill. So, yeah. All right. So this particular trail today is basically, it's like this, a big green tunnel with uh, ATV kind of tracks through here. I guess maybe that's what they come through here to mow it with. But uh, really level. Uh, we saw one beaver dam, not much else. And it looks like uh, that's the way it continues there too. So we'll see how it goes. Like what is that? A bone. A bone. Ooh, yeah. that'd be, I'd say dog. Dogish, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Not a and dog. Given but... the amount of it, probably say wolf. Yeah. Older. A little bit more. Yeah. Well, they tend to mark. go in the same area. Cats bury theirs. Okay. Dogs mark. Yeah. So, well, I guess cats mark too, but. 
they spray more. Yeah, I think it's more of a scent. Because we can see cats out here. Wow. Oh, Last not night. as fresh as it looks. Oh no, look it, it's Last still night. wet. Wow. Maybe, a lot of vegetation. here to do the jet and that um, Bald Hill Junction might go down there, park boundary 10. Whew. Whew. We're just taking a break up there in the shade, having a little enjoyment of the some of the breeze out here. It's a hot day today. When we left the car, it was 20, 28 degrees Celsius. So, where are we going here? 4.3, 4.3 kilometers. Uh, and Breezy Hill campsite. Doesn't show the East Deep Lake campsite yet, but I think that's about another four, 4.3 kilometers, about halfway. So we've done this in an hour, and we'll do the other one probably, hopefully, about the same. Same amount of time, about an hour. Yeah. Oh yeah, speared each other with the poles. Really hot day. About, I say around 38 degrees. It's um, just past the turn off to Breezy Hill campsite. And that was 5.3 kilometers. Getting rid of a horse fly. It was about 5.3 kilometers in. We did that in about an hour and a half. And we have another three kilometers to go. So, all in all, it's about three o'clock now. It's coming along pretty good. Lots of butterflies on the trail. I thought it was a very good choice for that character. I didn't think so. Yeah, that's something else, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Butterflies on a pile of dung. Sorry, I'm about to put like a bit of shade over there, but please don't fly away, please don't fly away, good. Very interesting. Mm. Yeah, come down out of there. You got a big depression on that side. It's nice and breezy. Mm -hmm. Kind of comes up, across, and down. Well, it's different. I don't know, maybe it's... I'd be willing to bet old beaver dam. Successions of beavers? Yeah. yeah. 
And then eventually beavers are gone and water drains away. Mm -hmm. That rock or something down there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> North Trail Escarpment, North Trailhead, East Deep Lake, 1.7. Down that way. And the Pack Horse Trail goes that way. Big dead tree up there. Kind of stands out after you come over a hill. And it tells you you're pretty close. Yeah. This is the trail after you get off the junction uh, with the Pack Horse Trail to East Deep Lake. Oh, it gets uh, pretty thick. You can tell it hasn't been mowed or nothing's been down in it in a long time. So, you're gonna, if it was wet, you'd be, you'd be soaked. But it's pretty dry today, so far. But it's, uh, it's narrow. It's a little bit more up and down on this bit. This 1.7 kilometers than we have had getting here to date. But, uh, whew. getting close, probably, probably less than, we might be about 750 meters away. Whew. East Deep Lake. Getting close. But uh, this last kilometer and a half makes you work for it. A uh, little bit more elevation up and down. Very thick. Uh, overgrown. Uh, so, yeah. And 30 degree temperatures. Like I say, making us work for it. That's why we come out, right? So. I just have to figure out where the campsite is. Game trail. Well, maybe we'll see moose. Yeah, that's one reason I bought my binoculars and the large camera. I want to see a moose. Eight point four kilometers. So here's East Deep Lake. It's supposed to be the prettier of the two sites. That might be debatable. East Deep Lake. Wood shelter over there. Oh, someone's camped here, eh? Is this not it? Oh, there's a big spot up there. Yeah, well, let's... What do we got here? Got a little fire pit. Ooh. So here's our campsite. Got our tarp up and ready, because that's what's coming for us. I hear it rumbling off in the distance. As you can see, way hey, off over there, then it will, once it clears, we'll be able to uh, work through stars. And of course, temperature will drop a little bit. But uh, pretty warm way it is now. Clouds, eh? Boom, boom. That big cloud there looks like it's like a dragon coming out. You can see his big mouth open. Oh, yeah. Out 
After setting up our campsite up at the upper part of the uh, East, Deep, East Deep Lake campsite, we all spent a, probably about an hour and a half watching the storm clouds roll in and the storm roll in and hearing the thunder and wondering when the raindrops were going to come. We did eventually start to have a few raindrops come our way. At that point, we decided to take advantage of our tarp that we set up and take shelter under it. Now, our tarp was set up over an A-frame type structure that prior campers had built and set up and we tied the ridge line along the front and it worked out really well given the way that the trees were situated on that site. Well as you can see I'm just putting the final touches on this video uh, for East Deep Lake. That actually is going to be all the footage I have for this adventure. Uh, we, we did have planned to do some of the jet trail as well as uh, hike into Bald Hill uh, and there's a couple of overlooks, I believe they're called Belvedere, uh, in that area where you go right to the edges of the escarpment and you get to look over uh, over the plains, much like we saw as we uh, the introduction. Unfortunately, we did have a medical incident arise, and we weren't able to do that on this trip. We did have to hike out that night. We did hike out, and we never did get to see a moose, but right as we got to the gate when we came in, right in the center of the trail was a big, fresh pile of moose droppings. So they're in the area, but we didn't get to see one. We had a great time. Thanks a lot to Carla and Colleen for coming along on this trip. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you all again. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay,